I wanted to do this introduction video to the Electro Voice EKX12P two-way 12-inch loudspeaker. Now this is a powered speaker. It has a Class D 1500 watt amplifier built in. It delivers 132 decibels peak SPO, which is super loud, and it sounds really nice. Now the reason I want to show it to you is because a lot of people are excited about the ETX series. This is a lot more aggressive. It's for crowds from, I don't know, maybe 500 to over a thousand people. But what it lacks is the ability to go into a smaller venue, like a 150 person wedding reception, and deliver without overpowering things. That's where the EKX comes in. It's kind of like the little brother. You're looking at a speaker that can do your 150 person wedding reception without a problem, but you can also do a four to 600 kid school dance with them. They do have wooden cabinets. It's 15 millimeter plywood and they weigh in at about 41 pounds, so they're not too heavy. And they're priced a lot less than the ETX. Now on the back, you get your cooling fan, but you also get two separate inputs. Input one features two RCA inputs plus a combination quarter and XLR input. Then you have a second input with the combination quarter inch XLR input. The reason this is cool is because maybe you wanna use one of these speakers for a ceremony and you don't wanna bring out your mixing board. You can plug your laptop or your iPod into input one and then you can plug your microphone into input two and have separate gains on both of those. It also features an LED menu in the back where you can do all kinds of stuff like adjust your bass and treble, your crossover points, match them up with other Electro Voice speakers. And you can also save your settings. I'll do a separate video where I dive deeper into the menu. Now the cabinet design is cool too. You can use this either as a floor monitor or you can fly it or you can use it on a tripod. It's really up to you. And to take it a step further, you can go into that LED menu in the back and tell it exactly how you're using it. If you're using it as a floor monitor, tell the speaker you're using it as a floor monitor and it will act the way it should as a floor monitor. Same thing if you're using it on a tripod or flying it or if you're using it on a wall. You might have noticed a little LED light on the front of the speakers. You can use this for a few different things. You can use it as a clip monitor. So if you're tuning the speakers from a band mixing board's point of view, you can see if the speaker's clipping or not. Alternately, you can turn it off. So for those of you who do the 150 person wedding receptions and you do the 500 kids school dances, this might be a really good choice for you. They're on sale right now if you're looking at this video before the end of 2017. EV has a really good deal on these. I think it's $100 off per cabinet. So yeah, reach out to your local retailer and check it out. I'll do more videos on this speaker. I don't know, maybe later on today, I'll dive into the DSP menu and maybe even try to give you some kind of audio demo. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helps somebody practice and enjoy.